Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to CryptoZX. I really appreciate you stopping by my channel today. To all my viewers watching my video, Anna, can I please ask you guys to smash that like button and hit the red subscribe button if you haven't already. This does help out the channel tremendously and it also keeps me motivated on making videos for you guys. But with that being said, let's jump right in today's content. Just a quick reminder to all my viewers and that is guys, if you guys have not joined the Telegram group chat, guys, what are you waiting for? It's free to join. Link in the description box below. We talk about cryptocurrencies, the latest news revolving around the crypto space and just have a great time at the end of the day so come join the group and let's build this community together but now let's jump right in today's content all right guys before i begin i would like to say the disclaimer anything on this channel should not be taken as financial advice because i am not a financial advisor cryptocurrencies are super volatile so please do your own due diligence and research before investing in these markets looking at the overall crypto market cap today we're currently sitting at 1.63 trillion dollars we're down 8.1 percent in the last 24 hours meanwhile btc dominance is currently sitting at 41.3 percent now, if we're looking at the overall markets, guys, we're seeing a lot of red across the board. Uh, you know, most importantly, Bitcoin down 7.7% in just the last 24 hours. And this does not come as a surprise to me at all. Now, you may be asking yourself, Crypto ZX, why does this not come as a surprise to you? Because, guys, if you are a regular viewer on my channel and you have been watching my videos over the last few days, and when we were seeing some sort of recovery made in the markets, I was saying, guys, you know, I am not optimistic that the bottom is in until we reach specific, specific price levels for Bitcoin you know uh, specifically $43,000 and most importantly $46,300 level but Bitcoin was unable to do that and we are seeing markets go towards the downside so this does not come as a surprise to me at all uh, but today guys I want to talk about none other than VeChain all right VeChain family if we're looking at uh, VeChain's price right now VeChain is currently trading at 11.3 cents it's down 10.3% in the last 24 hours in USD comparative. It's also down 3% in BTC comparative in just the last 24 hours. VeChain's current rank on Coin Market Cap and on Coin Gecko is at the top 20th spot. Market cap right now is $7.4 billion. Meanwhile, 24-hour trading volume is at $1.7 billion. Zooming out and looking at the bigger picture for VeChain, guys, in just the last year alone, VeChain is still up 2,100%. In the last 30 days, we are down 46.3%. But, uh, you know, VeChain is not only the, you know, coin that is down quite substantially. It's the entire market that's down. You guys know we saw the major Bitcoin crash, which took the entire markets down with it. So please keep in mind, it's not only VeChain, it's the entire market that's down. And I believe if we were to reach those specific price levels for Bitcoin, we will see some sort of recovery being made in the entire market. But like I said, all eyes are on Bitcoin right now still. Um, but I want to share an article with you guys and then we will do our price analysis on VeChain and Bitcoin. All right, Nasdaq, the first uh, Nasdaq, the world's first electronic exchange where you can buy and trade securities, has acknowledged VeChain potential. Specifically, Nasdaq states that VeChain is one of the virtual assets in the crypto market that is likely to be profitable in 2021. Pietro Palomero of the Polytechnic University of Milan. Italy recently did an academic thesis about the blockchain and vulnerable cryptocurrencies. He said developers of VeChain aim at completely eliminating the threat of the market of counterfeit goods using the potentialities of smart contracts and blockchain technologies. VeChain is a permission blockchain platform based on, uh, you know, the Ethereum blockchain. It was uh, developed by the Chinese BAAS company uh, ByteSea based in Shanghai and founded by ex-managers of IBM, Louis Vuitton, and Alibaba. So the reason uh, for me sharing is that, guys, you know, a lot of people when they do, do uh, you know, um, like... Uh, do the research and uh, look into VeChain, they tend to like it because they see what VeChain is solving. And NASDAQ is talking about it as well, which uh, is very, very bullish on its own. And this goes to show, guys, um, you know, there is a lot of institutional interest coming towards cryptocurrencies. And, you know, the institutional investors, they look at good projects, guys, uh, some projects that have real use case, big communities, and that have high liquidity. And VeChain is up there, guys. And, you know, do not underestimate that um, you know that there aren't people looking from the institutional side on VeChain. I'm pretty pretty sure that there is a mad mad people looking at VeChain, you know, from the institutional side of the spectrum. And uh, because you guys know, uh, institutional money is coming into the markets, and they are investing in uh, altcoins with promising futures. And I believe VeChain is one of them, obviously 100%. And you know, this article just shows that right off the bat. But now let's you know deep dive into the charts and see what's exactly going on and where we could be seeing uh, VeChain go in the immediate short term. So as you guys can see, 
see we went all the way down today uh, you know earlier today to 10 cents but since then we are seeing some sort of recovery being made and that is uh, VeChain is up 9.44% so if you picked up some uh, you know VeChain around that 10 cents mark you would be up around 12% so uh, around yeah around 12% so not so bad uh, but you know what let me bring up the Fibonacci retracement level and see where we could be going in the immediate short term but right now guys all I should be on Bitcoin um, you know th this is not coming as a surprise to me at all and now you know a lot of my viewers already know that I was calling this out I was saying guys you know when we were hitting these levels I was saying guys you know I am not convinced that the bottom is in uh, we have to keep you know Bitcoin uh, you know, uh, Bitcoin's price very, very closely uh, monitor it. And, you know, then we will be able to come to a conclusion as to what is going on uh, with the markets and where they will be going in the immediate short term. Because you guys know, Bitcoin uh, runs the markets. It's the king of the market. So everything, you know, uh, follows it. it's the leading indicator. Uh, so right now we are sitting above this level of support, which I do not want us to break below, guys. This level of support is very, very crucial for uh, VeChain at that 10 cents mark. You know, this was our biggest resistance for the longest time. And then we were, uh, you know, able to break uh, above it when the Salesforce announcement came out back here. And then we saw this massive, massive rally, guys. So I do not like for VeChain to break below this but we will see if that's a possibility right now in the immediate short term but right now we are sitting uh, you know our 12% above this le uh, level of support so so far so good so you know what let's look into Bitcoin charts and then we will come and make a conclusion as to what is going to happen with V chain in the next day or so so if we're looking at Bitcoin, guys, Bitcoin is doing crazy things right now. It's literally sitting right below this level of support, which I have said I do not want us to sit below this level of support, guys. As much as I hate saying this, but, you know, this is a reality and we have to face it. If we are unable to close above this level of support, there is definitely a potential for a Bitcoin to see a triple bottom, guys. I hate saying this. Um, you know, we could see a triple bottom and this will not be good for the entire cryptocurrency markets, guys. We will see major 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 you know um <clears throat> panic across the board but you know uh if this is these kind of things we cannot uh control guys uh these things are out of our control and this is why you know um profit maximization you know then you need to know how to take profits uh will uh be you know very beneficial for you so you guys can take advantage when these kind of corrections do occur as you guys know bitcoin markets are i'm sorry the cryptocurrency markets are all all you know correlated with bitcoin so you know you have to be ready to play these markets up properly and you know these markets are totally manipulated and like I said we have zero control over that so you know in this case guys you know we could see us having a triple bottom if we do not close above this level of support guys this is a very very important level of support we're literally sitting right below it I would like for us to at least get above it and you know close the day uh, on there on a good note in my opinion but if that's not the case guys then you know the, you know be prepared for us to go towards the downside I would not be surprised because look guys you know I have been spot on so far this was the initial price crash that we saw we had a you know wick towards the upside massive recovery everyone was calling the bottom is in and uh, we saw $42,500 level for Bitcoin we that was a clear fake out look we saw our double bottom we went towards the upside 41k a lot of people started calling that you know um the bottom and now we're heading towards the upside and no guys that's clearly not it and there is a potential for us to see us go back down here once again and that would be not good and we will see a major major blow bloodbath across the board we just have to be prepared for that guys but uh, hopefully we can get above this and just head towards the upside you guys know how important these level of targets are I have been saying this for at least a week now you know we need to get above at least the 43,000 um, you know uh, $200 level and you know stay above there for at least a day and most importantly guys $46,600 level if we're able to get above this guys this means that the bottom is in and for for me personally this means the bottom is officially in I'm not calling a bottom to be in here or here like I wanted to get above here and I would be very very confident like 98% confident that the bottom is in if Bitcoin is able to hold around these levels for a day 
and then you will see V chain make a fast massive recovery and I would not be surprised I'm still you know sticking with my price targets I would not be surprised if V chain gets back into this range very very fast or possibly even above here because the markets tend to move very very fast when Bitcoin makes a recovery uh, so you know so far so good you guys know uh, my stance on V chain V chain is one of the one of the or if not one of uh, you know if not the biggest altcoin in my opinion right now and it is currently undervalued at its current prices because considering what VeChain really is doing guys it has a real working product guys please never forget that you know it has a real working product it's just not a coin it has a real working product it has strong fundamentals and um, you know it's working with one of the uh, you know not one of the like some of the biggest uh, you know organizations around the world and uh, that are using VeChain Thor blockchain within their organizations to make uh, it more uh, you know uh, superior and you know on top of that when this happens when there's a lot of organizations using a VeChain Thor blockchain that brings mass adoption to the crypto space and that's exactly what VeChain is doing right now long term guys I have been saying this for the longest time you know uh, despite the fact we are seeing these price movements towards the upside downside but guys uh, this is cryptocurrencies welcome to cryptocurrencies I always say guys you know you guys have to be prepared for these kind of moves to occur because nothing will go up straight forever these markets are heavily manipulated and when the markets do tend to go down especially Bitcoin you know all the altcoins will follow no matter what and VeChain is no exception uh, but you know uh, our uh, you know bearish scenario for us would be that if we get a below you know that um, if we uh, close below um, 36k uh, today then guys if we do go towards the uh, downside for Bitcoin let's say Bitcoin does go below 34k 33k and does have a triple bottom guys we have to be prepared for these kind of moves to occur like I'm sorry to say you know I hate saying this myself but you know um, this is just a reality and we have to face it so we potentially could possibly fall back down here uh, but the bullish scenario is still uh, you know um, the same for me uh, that you know we can get above you know to this 20 cents mark very very fast guys if the markets tend to recover and Bitcoin specifically gets above that forty six thousand six hundred dollar level and you know we will get back around here and we will be headed towards our all-time high very very fast but right now all eyes are still on Bitcoin and if that kind of you know uh, a triple bottom does occur guys you know you guys do not want to be the weak hands I always mention this to you guys you guys do not want to be the weak hands getting shaken out during these times uh, markets do tend to recover very fast so if you have done your due diligence and research and you have invested where you can afford to lose your patience will be your number one key to follow guys and you know um, if you're in for the long haul you guys already you know you guys don't even need to worry about it I always say guys delete your trade you know delete your uh, trading view accounts delete everything just watch my updates and just delete everything and just go enjoy life do not be looking at crypto charts every single day I know that's very very hard I'm being biased because that was me when I was new to the markets but guys that's a way Waste of time, you know. Um, you just all day you're just scrolling, refreshing your um, you know, Delta app or any you know, block folio. You're always a refreshing. Oh, where's the price of V chain now? Where's the price of Cardano? Where's the price of Bitcoin? And you know, that does uh, you know, uh, waste a lot of time. So, come, I'm sorry, you know, yeah, come join our Telegram group, guys. You know, we talk about cryptocurrencies. You know, during the downwards trend, it does make you feel better talking with someone else, and um, you know, especially if you're in it for the long haul, guys, these price, you know, pull back should not matter to you at all it, they honestly should not matter to anyone at all and you know you always uh, need to invest where you can afford to lose if you have a lot of profits you guys know what I always say take some profits out guys do not get greedy um, because these markets will always tumble down as fast as you guys can make profits guys and you know it's the same way that's how fast you can possibly lose all the profits so you, you guys need to lock in some profits that's one of the biggest tips I can give you guys but yeah guys go enjoy outside you know the weather is getting really nice so go enjoy it go for a bike ride you know play sports or just go hang out with friends guys and just get away from cryptocurrencies uh, because I know a lot of people are always refreshing their block folio and Binance accounts and you know um, <laughs> Delta app to see where reach and price is at but guys you guys need to get out and enjoy life because life is short and you need to enjoy life cryptocurrency is not going anywhere especially if you're in it for the long haul but yeah guys come join the telegram group chat guys and thank you so much for all the support that you guys show me I appreciate each and every one of you guys like from the bottom of my heart reach family thank you so much for all the 
support that you guys show me and uh, you know I will continue delivering these kind of content for you guys and you know just bringing the best quality content and most realistic content for you guys thank you so much once again and uh, stay safe out there guys safety comes first health comes first family comes first and everything else absolutely comes later smash the like button guys this does help my video get to a wider audience so your support would be greatly appreciated but with that being said guys it's been crypto zx and peace out